Hello folks and welcome, Pop OS. This video is made for new users or any users that want to know anything about uh, doing some changes to their dock. None of these changes require any coding skills, they're all point and click. I'm going to talk about auto hiding this dock. I'm going to talk about resizing this dock, repositioning this dock from left to right. I'm also going to talk about the panel at the top, moving this time and date box from left to right eliminating this application menu or workspace icons um, and also talking about if you use desktop icons a uh, couple of options there also so welcome folks I'm gonna first right click and hit display settings I'm filming in 1920 by 1080 my video will be more than two minutes all my videos have timelines and chapters and yes I'm using a custom mouse pointer I have those kind of mouse pointers installed on the same folder on every Linux distribution and I'll point that out when I get to the file manager if you're curious. Let me give you a quick system information. POP OS 2204 LTS long term support. This is the GNOME version 42.5. Instead of using that red X in the top corner, top right hand corner, I'm going to use Alt and F4. That also closes windows. I want to right click and change background but actually I'm not going to change background I want to talk about these other options but you can certainly bring in your own wallpaper or backgrounds or photos and put that as backgrounds or set it as wallpaper just take your digital photos of your kids your pets your friends or some other piece of wallpaper you downloaded put it in a folder grab a hold of your file manager I'm going to use the pictures folder as my example. Right click and set it as wallpaper. It's that simple. This time I'm going to use the X in the corner. Let's start with desktop options. Again, all of these things are going to be point and click. So I'm going to click this back to default. And what is the super key? So if you're not that familiar with uh, that particular buzzword, um, the super key is found on your keyboard, normally between your control and your alt key on the left side. Some folks have two of these, and some keyboards do not have any. Sometimes it's called a start key, and sometimes it has a picture of a window. Again, if you don't have one of those keys on your keyboards, then don't worry about it. But if you do, you have three choices. The launcher, which I'm going to push down right now by pressing down my super key. I'm going to push it down and it does that. If I click the workspaces, it's the same thing as me clicking that. I'm going to push down on that super key and I'm going to push it down again. So this might be a preferred action for the super key. Opens up the applications menu. I'm going to press it again to close it open close just by pressing that super key my, again on my keyboard is called start i'm going to skip over hot corners i think if you wanted to experiment with that you can certainly do that on your own let's talk about the top bar show workspaces button just means that guy right there you turn it off by doing that application button is, is this guy right here you can also turn that off since I have that one already turned on, I can depress my super key, right? I certainly can. And if I needed the um, workspaces button, it's actually right here on my dock. So technically I can leave those off, but these are normally defaulted on. And that is normally defaulted here as an FYI. So this is also defaulted in the center. If you don't like it there, you can move it to the left. Now it's on the left, and you can move it to the right. And I'll move it back to the center. I don't know why a lot of people want to ha have their control of turning these on and off, but you can certainly do that. I don't know why you'd want to turn them off, but maybe there are some reasons that some of you folks make it, can think of why you'd want to turn these on and off. But there's the options for them. I also do something like this also, instead of doing that. It doesn't matter if I resize the window and do this or double click. In either case, 
that covers the desktop options. Background, skipping over, going to appearance. This one is also self-explanatory. You want a light theme or a dark theme. Let's go to dock. Dock is down here. Now you see it, now you don't. Extend the dock to the edges. That just means it extends this black area out. Now you have this completely going across the bottom half of the screen. And now you have it as a dock. In other words, it's, well, hopefully you can see that, the black areas versus the background or wallpaper. All right, so um, the next item is show launcher icon, workspaces, and apps icon. You can certainly turn these things on and off. You can see them eliminating icons. Okay, I'm going to turn them back on. And also mounted drives, which is right here. I have an internal hard drive called backup that I can turn on and off. I'm sorry, wrong one, this one. Icon action, or icon click action, it's launch or cycle windows. It's got two more options. All right, the dock visibility. All right, so I have intelligently turn on, but always visible is default. I'll show you why I chose that option. Now the always hide should be fairly self-explanatory. It means it just auto hides and you need to take your mouse pointer or cursor and move it downstairs. And then it reappears. And again, this is a non-standard mouse pointer. And I install my mouse pointer in the same folder on all Linux systems. I'll show you that folder a little bit later. So what is intelligently hide? All right, so all that means is if you maximize the window or have the window touching that line, it will disappear. I'm doing this slowly so you can see it. Boom, just bumps it out of the way. If I take my mouse cursor or pointer, I can move it downstairs and it'll reappear if I just bounce it around a little bit. Or move this up in the air. Or go maximum screen. And then do that. And I can do the same thing with the web browser. <clears throat> or go full screen. Alright, I think you get the idea now. So right click, background, dock. And I left off with intelligently hide. So that's my preferred setting. The default is always hot, always visible. Show dock on display. You probably want that. But it's default to primary. But if you got multiple displays, you may want to check that setting. Let's talk about some uh, favorite things with some folks after they learn how to do this. You have small, probably a little too small, at least it is for me. Medium, that's not too bad. Large, but I want it bigger than 60. So I'm going to crank this up to maximum, which is 128. That's a little too much, too big. So I'm going to go below that, I'm gonna, but above 60. So I'll leave it at 88. So it's bigger than 60, so it's a customized size. If I click that, it goes to 60 automatically, even though that says 60. But as soon as you step over that, 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 will, um, that will disappear. See, now it's 61, and that just turned that off, because it's now a custom size. We'll make it 90. How's that? Position of the desk on the desktop. Where do you want this bar? Bottom, left. Notice the icon is cut off. It's kind of in a scrolling action. And also depending on what kind of, how many icons you have here. The reason for the dot, it shows that's open. My settings box is open. My simple screen recorder is recording. That's why it's an open application. So is this screen. So we have bottom, the largest amount of room, and then we got the left and right sides. Again, something like this, you would probably want to resize this a little bit smaller because they're being cut off. There's more real estate down here than it is in the vertical position or right or left side. So in other words, the bottom has the most space. All right, 
Now the alignment is kind of strange. The center is self-explanatory, but the start and end just means left and right. If I was the developer of this particular window, I would put that in brackets. So the start would be the left side and the end would be the right side of the dock alignment on the screen. Okay, so center, start, and end. Your choice. So that covers the dock. Let's talk about workspaces. Since I turn those buttons off, let me go back upstairs and turn these back on and then go back here. So this is set for dynamic workspaces. That's default and that's what this looks like. You get normally two of these. So if I turn this on, I currently have it set for seven. So that means there's seven of them. Can certainly change that number to something smaller. I'll go something like a four. Now I have four of these. Get the idea. This is default. Multi-monitor, do you have one of those? Workspaces span the displays is probably a good option. Workspaces on primary display only. So you got two options there. Also the placement of your workspace picker. Left side or right side. So that covers the options here. And again, how to get to these settings is right click, change background, and then move over to your desktop options, appearance, dock, and workspaces. Next item, desktop icon settings. You move this to the side, I'm gonna right click and create a folder. We'll just call it new folder and be done with it. So let's take a look at tiny, small, standard, and large if you use icons on your desktop. You can put on your home folder, which is called personal folder, trash can, external drives, network drives. You have a perfectly, let me eliminate this. You have a perfectly good file manager sitting here that has all those options. Let me prove that to you. You have your trash can, you got your home folder, and um, you have the uh, other locations like my backup drive right here and also the computer itself with my root folders and the root, um, sorry, the, the home folder to all my users. So I have four users. Mr. Pop is the current one that I'm using. Mary, Mr. Max, and Mr. Senior are locked out. In other words, they're X'd out, but they're still home folders. So however many users you have on your system is you know, you'll have X amount of folders. In most cases, you'll just have one. But in either case, this is your regular folders. Okay, I can resize icons my way, or you can do it the system way. Click, click, or you can hold down your, uh, hold down your control key and hit uh, plus. While holding that control key, hit plus again to make it bigger. Hit uh, negative or minus to make it smaller and then plus, 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 or substitute the uh, plus and hold, hold down the control key and use your computer mouse scroll wheel to resize icons. Kind of comes in handy with these kind of thumbnails. But in either case, home folder. All right, so this mouse pointer here, again, I installed these things in the same location on all Linux distributions. And you're probably saying, no, that's not possible. It is. Control H. They're always installed in dot icons. I also put folder themes in here too, on some distributions. But that's the name of this particular pointer. It's called Radioactive. And the only way I, I actually activate it, I use tweaks. I'm gonna put tweaks on my panel bar. Sorry, not panel bar, my dock. I can also put other things on my dock. I can also move them around on my dock. Anyways, tweaks, appearance. That's where I pick my cursor. This is normally your default one. That one is not installed in dot icons. That one's installed in your USR share icons folder, protected with root permissions. That's why I installed Radioactive in the dot icons folder in the home folder, because it doesn't require root permissions. 
That's why that's in here. Don't have a dot icons folder? Right click, create it yourself. Watch my videos. I have many. You can watch any of them. And it pretty much talks about every single time I'll mention that folder. On It doesn't matter what the distribution. Control H. It's normally a hidden folder. All right. Since I opened the file manager and pointed out the fact that I have a trash can, a home folder, my computer and my internal backup drives or network drives, I really don't need these three guys. Right click, I'll turn them off because I got a perfectly good file manager sitting right here. Okay, but there's all of these things you can just turn on and off. Keep in mind, you can move these icons around you can eliminate them by right clicking and removing. If there are too many icons on your dock, you can certainly get rid of them and you can also add things rather easily. So if I wanted that uh, text editor Kate, I can just toss it in here. And then if I change my mind a little bit later, I wanted uh, Kate over in between these two guys. I pick it up, I kind of squeeze it in here. Thank you for watching, folks.